Howdy. Today, I have officially been blogging for 13 years. I started my business blog on February 21st, 2005. Wait, that's right, this is 2018, so that's 13 years. <laughs> anyway, I've been blogging officially for 13 years in one place, and it's just been an amazing ride. Now, I actually started writing online in 1996 on a site that was called My Dear Diary. I've always journaled my entire life, uh, probably since I was 12 years old. I'd written journals, uh, you know, cataloging what was going on in my life. I wrote my journals in college. I wrote journals right after college. And then when I got my first computer, I used to write my little journals online or on my computer before there was internet. And then when there was internet, it took me about a year. And then I found this site called My Dear Diary, and I started logging things on there. I don't journal as much anymore because I have blogs. I have five blogs. And one of them today, Mitch's blog, which I have linked to above, it is that anniversary. And it's been an interesting road. And I wrote about it, which I guess maybe I'll link to that as well. Um, and the point I wanted to talk about today regards something that a lot of newer bloggers probably need to understand. You know, a lot of people get into blogging with the intention that they're going to make a lot of money off of it or, you know, make a life. And it ain't easy. As a matter of fact, it's not going to happen for the overwhelming majority. I would bet that the odds of becoming a hit online by using a blog and making enough money to live off of has to be almost as great as winning the lottery. <laughs> That's just my thought. The reason I say that is because there are a lot of dead blogs online. There are a lot of people who started, who tried, who couldn't get it done. They had no idea what to write about. They didn't have any idea of how to get traffic. They just kind of floundered because it seems so easy. You sit down, you write some copy, you throw some ads on, and you make money. It ain't that. What you need to think about is the long term. In essence, what can you use blog posts for if early on they don't get a lot of traffic, even if they do get a lot of traffic? What can you use them for? Well, I've been able to use my blog post to link in my videos. I've been able to cross promote them on other blogs when a certain topics come up. I've been able to interlink those back to older, older stories. I've been able to post them on Facebook and Google Plus and LinkedIn and Twitter. You can rinse and repeat. You always have something there. I wrote my second book on leadership, which is called e Leadership Is and Isn't Easy, which is only in PDF because I didn't want to go to the expense of creating a book like I did with the first one. But I'm going to do that at some point. Anyway, that book is basically a compilation of newsletters and my early blog posts that were good blog posts that I had to rewrite in order to work for the book. So you can always go back to that. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of people who think that I should take uh, some of the content from my I'm Just Sharing blog and create ebooks out of it. I've got almost 1,900 articles on that, <laughs> on that site on a ton of topics, so I probably could. I just haven't been motivated enough to sit down and go through all the years of that particular blog to figure out what to put into a book because I've had that blog for a pretty long time also I think uh, by the end of this year it will be 11 years that I have had on just sharing not a lot of people make this kind of time most people burn out after two or three years a lot of people burn out after one like I said you see the empty shells but if you're in the process of creating, you can always put it somewhere else. It's always there. You can always reference people back to it if you're proud of it or if it's something that you think that someone might be able to use or get something out of. So think about blogging in a different way. Don't think about it as this quick get rich scheme thing because it ain't happening for the overwhelming majority. It's just not going to. If you're already a name, possibly. If you're like, well, me. <laughs> It ain't going to happen. Just being truthful. Anyway, that's what I'm sharing today. Let me know your thoughts on long-term content creation. You know, we just call it blogging and writing articles, but today they call it content creation. Eh, whatever. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts on blogging. You have any questions, 
go ahead and ask. My name's Mitch Mitchell. I hope y'all have a wonderful day.